The helicopter system is connected via a National Instruments DAC card and the helicopter's got an encoder and the encoder pulses are connected into counter zero and the output from the DAC card is an analogue output port. And if you just have a look at the screen, as I move the helicopter up and down, you can see that this is tracking the height of the helicopter. And if you just pan back, you can see the, re the real helicopter moving up and down to that input there. So what I'm going to do is show you how we can control this helicopter by increasing the demand of the height of the helicopter and the output from the DAC card will control the propeller speed. How's that? I've got power on. Let's just see if that's going to work. Okay, so put, put the proportional gain up to about 20 and we can see the desired and the actual of the helicopter. And you can see it on the graph here, the desired is the white one and the red one is the helicopter. So as I put the desired up, with just proportional gain, the helicopter starts to move up but it oscillates quite a lot. So if I increase the damping or the derivative gain to about halfway, we can see that as I move the helicopter, it's damped quite nicely and doesn't overshoot very much. But there's a steady state error and I can reduce that by increasing the integral gain. As I put the integral gain on, you can see the helicopter creeping up to the desired position, so the red wires creeping up to the white wire. And it's almost there. So what we've got now is a nice system that should just follow my input. As I demand it to go lower, the helicopter follows it. As I demand it to go higher, the helicopter tracks my position quite nicely. If I have a quick demand, the helicopter recovers fairly quickly as well. So there we go, PID controller, love you. And we can land it.